What is going on guys? This is Clutch once again and today I've got my first pack opening um, on console for FIFA 13. I opened these packs last night so it's not a live pack opening unfortunately but the rest um, the rest of my pack openings in future will be live. Uh, I've just set up my YouTube live streaming so I'll be streaming them from now on because that way it'll be easier um, because it uploads directly. Um, for those of you that miss it and want to watch it back whenever you want then it'll just be there. Um, I opened quite a few packs in this video, so there'll be two parts. I'm gonna split up into sections of 2k FIFA points because I opened, well, I opened 6k FIFA points last night, but um, I only recorded 4k. Um, before I was recording, I managed to get a De Gea and also a Gareth Bale. De Gea um, sold for 12k, I think, and Bale sold for 63k, so I was fairly happy with that. Um, so these packs being open in the background. Um, I just I want to talk talk about something while these packs are being opened since it's not live. Um, it's to do with like the series that are going to be starting soon and whatnot. So like first off, I want to talk about my 100k pack openings that everyone seemed to love last year about my live streams. Probably what people enjoyed most about my streams last year. Um, but I was going to open 100k, but then I thought mm, I don't really want to be using coins to open packs this year, so. I'm going to be opening the equivalent in FIFA points, which is like 2025, I think. Um, so I'll be, able, I'll be able to open like 11 gold packs and 5 silver packs, which comes to just over 100k, I think, if my maths is correct. But um, that might change when the bigger packs are, are added again. So, like, aside from pack openings, the squad builder challenge is starting once again, and that'll start on this video, actually. If you don't know what that is, it's like... Basically, it's where you suggest three players to me and I make the best the best hybrid I possibly can from him. So please leave your player comments in the your player suggestions in the comments. Three players that you'd either you'd either love to see in a um you'd either love to see me be able to fit into a team or that you think will give me a challenge to make. And the last thing I really wanted to talk about today was clubs. Um I wanted to do a Road to Division One series and everything was going well. I've got like like 30 games recorded but I'm not sure who decided this but the club was restarted and I was away f for a few days so they're already like way into the divisions now so I'm not too sure what I'm going to do on that just yet but a club series will happen so that is to come once I decide what to do I'm not too sure whether to just start and, like I don't know I just have no idea what to do on that in a minute but anyways I'm just going to carry on let the pack opening continue in this pack I got brunt wasn't this pack wasn't too amazing I did get quite lucky in these packs yesterday I'll have to admit like in the second the second part that I'll probably upload tomorrow I did get one player well he, he ended up being the most expensive player that I got um so for quite a bit it wasn't an inform though so um it's just a normal player but you'll have to wait till tomorrow to see that um but yeah when it comes to packs I don't really keep much like I just discard them because I, I, I just can't be asked like selling things on I'm I'm just that lazy I got quite lucky here and get a Moriel which should go for a fairly decent price he's he's um a lot of people are liking him at the minute and I don't blame him he's pacey and he's got four star skills so what more could you ask for um get a load of other random crap that I'm probably just gonna discard in a minute check in to see if anyone has four star skill moves because if they have four star skill then I'm likely to keep them morale I always keep that and seriously need to upgrade my consumables and my trade power but I spent most of those um those credits on pro boost and actually something that I'm really pissed off about is like yesterday I went on um, pro club seasons and apparently my pro's been reset for what reason I don't know um, I went on pro club seasons and it was asking me to make my player again so I was like um, hold up a minute what the fuck is going on here I've like got to like 85 at cam and that's actually legit so I'm like what the fuck I haven't actually done anything wrong so I don't know if that's a glitch or what but it kind of pissed me off that's another thing that I, that I was um, annoyed about with clubs so that's why I'm still think I'm still wondering what to do in terms of clubs i um, going to keep that Santos kit because Santos kits are selling for a decent price at the minute. Probably one of the most expensive kits going at, the t at this minute. I've, I actually, I think I get quite a few Santos kits in this um, pack opening as well. And this, if that continues, then the price will go down if everyone keeps getting them. So 
I hope that I was just um, a bit lucky today and that everyone keeps getting Santa's kits because um, I want to be able to make a profit off him. Alberto Riera, I remember, I remember when he used to play for Liverpool, he was actually a beast on one of the last FIFAs. I don't remember which one it is, I think it was 11 or maybe it was 10, I don't know. But he's got 4 star skills so I'm going to keep him. Um, but yeah, I've got two parts to this pack opening. Tomorrow, I'll, as I said, I'll probably upload the second part tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, I, I open some silvers as well as some gold. And I do have quite a bit of luck in the silvers. Um, probably just gave away who I got there. But actually, no, there's quite a few people I could get there. Um, well, I get Raphael. I think I managed to sell Raphael for like 2 or 3k. Maybe more, I'm not too sure. But... The total I made off this pack opening, I think I'm, I sold everything for like three to 400k. So I was pretty pleased with that because Bale went for quite a bit. I, I actually got Lampard as well, which um, I don't think I got him in this pack opening. Maybe I did later on and I just spoiled it, but oh well. Um, probably won't even remember by tomorrow. But um, yeah, uh, Lampard sold for like 15k, which I was happy about. Um, there's other players that I think I get later on in the second part that I'm not going to spoil that sold for quite a bit as well so um, this pack wasn't particularly great I got John O'Shea and that was about it um, actually no I did get that that right back, I forgot about his name that right back from Chelsea um, I'll see in a second but he looks pretty decent um, Tanko he actually looks like a pretty decent right, right back, he's got decent pace and good defending so I guess I'm going to keep him. Um, some more. I, I don't really want anything from this pack, so I'm probably just going to discard everything else. Goran Pranic used to be a decent player, but he's been downgraded a bit. I don't I don't really use him. I think I might do um, some head-to-head -head seasons as well, because back when the demo was out, I played a lot of head-to-head -head against our cousin um, with Man City, and I really love playing 3 5 2 with Man City. Um, got Van der Wiel in this pack, he's a great right back and I didn't actually know that he'd moved to PSG until I'd actually seen him in this pack and I was like hmm, he can actually fit into the team that I'm going to do a squad builder on later this week and um, probably in the next couple of days I just have to play the games with it because I built it and that team I, I have to say is, is it kind of surprised me because I made the team one way and then I made, I made a second way and then Foothead kind of lied to me on the chemistry, so I had to change things about. So I've actually got three different versions of the team. So the next squad builder will actually be kind of like three teams and one that you can take your pick from. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. And it, like all the players that I've got in the team, I think I might actually keep that team for the rest of Ultimate Team because I just like the customization. The, ability to customize it with like my bench and stuff I don't usually use benches that I can like chop and change teams like completely but this team I managed to do it and I was like wow this this I don't think I'll get bored of this I'm bored of my Serie A team that I did the um, squad border on the other week but this team I can like run so many different lineups I, can, I don't think I'll get bored of it that easily so I'll probably be playing with it for a while and it has some skill in it unlike the last one so I'll definitely enjoy that because I love my teams with skill in them. Even though I'm not a great skiller, I love doing skill. Um, it just makes it a lot more fun to me. I don't I don't know why. It, I just enjoy doing it. So um, this was another kind of mediocre pack. Um, I probably should have kept that goalkeeper um, and see how much he sold for. But um, knowing me, if I don't know you, I'm just going to discard you. Um, I did keep Yaquinta though because I want to try him out since I've got a Serie A team I thought hmm, I might try him out because um, you never know who's going to be a gem on this game so I'm starting to try different players um, and he's one of the ones that I'm going to try but seriously the next squad builder I think will be a pretty good team for you guys uh, it does qu cost quite a bit but there are alternatives so I do give like a cheap a mid-range and an expensive one so hopefully you will enjoy that but um i think there's only one more pack after this maybe this pack wasn't too great um i can't see the fifa points because ryan's come online and blocked it um probably going to discard everything keep the kit because i always keep kits and badges um actually no i don't there's daisy i get another santa's kit so i'm going to send that to my trade pal and sell it 
Um, actually, don't keep badges this year. Um, I used to keep all the badges, but this year I just thought, fuck it, I only really use the LJ badge. And this badge that, that I'm using right now is actually pretty decent. And that was actually the last pack, so yeah, you'll just have to tune in t tomorrow to see the silver part. Because I opened my first silver pack there, but you will not be able to see that until tomorrow's video. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed today's pack opening, please feel free to leave a like and also subscribe if you're new. But until tomorrow, guys, it has been Clutch. Peace. Don't let my swagger phase ya I'm a cool motherfucker but chill Cause I got something tucked in my blazer